So now let's transition here just a little bit. I want to talk about smart field links because that's just a little bit different than just regular smart fields. So smart field links are a special set of smart fields that can automatically generate a link to a form, a contract, an invoice. It's the content. So you're autofilling where the content is going to be held. So if you notice whenever you're sending out certain things in Dubsado, there's the buttons that you can click on and that your client can access whatever form it is that you're sending, contracts, invoices, and whatnot. That's where smart field links come into play. So it's not just text information or date information. These are the buttons that are going to give you uh, the ability to send that out to a client so they can access that certain uh, piece of content. So in Dubsado, and we're going to run through a couple things here, in Dubsado you will always select the form that you want to send first and then you will always pick the email that goes with that form second and you are deciding what form is going to go into that smart field. So let me show you what that looks like here. Let's say, and I think I have one already created here. Let me go to canned emails and my form email. So I have a form email and I, it says, hey, client name, here is a link to your form kind. So what that means is whatever form that I'm choosing, because remember in Dubsado, you pick your form first and then you pick the email that goes with it. So when you're typing canned emails here, we get a lot of questions of how can I link the form up to this email right here? And you're actually not going to do it in this area. You have to pick the form that you want to send first in their project and then attach this email to go with it. So here's the link to your form kind. So whatever form I pick, it's going to plug in that word. And I'll show you what this looks like live. And now here is my form link. So where your smart field links are going to be located is right here. So underneath smart field and link, what you can do is you can plug in the link to their invoice, the link to their contract, their portal link, their portal password, a form link, scheduler link. So this is going to give them the links to whatever it is that you're sending, but you're picking what you're sending first. So right here, I put in a form link. So let's take a look at what this looks like in real time. If I go into a project now, and I'm just going to jump into any project here, and I go underneath the forms area here. So remember, I want to pick the form that I want to send first, and then I'll choose the email. So if I click this drop down, let's say I want to pick, um, let's just pick this uh, all things proposals uh, form that I have here. When I click add, and then I'm going to, because I'm just adding it to the, to the project, and then I click send. When I click send, this is the default email that pops up, um, and that's also in the canned emails area underneath edit templates. You can choose uh, your default email that pops up. But if I go down here to the bottom right-hand corner, this little ribbon icon is where my canned emails live. So now I can go to that form email that I've selected, and what is it going to do? Here's a link to your questionnaire, because that's the type of form that I have it set up as. As you can see here, um, it's a questionnaire that I've created. So it's auto-filling what type of form it is. And then here's where that form link is going to go. Now, let's do a little bit of a switch. Now I'm going to grab a different form. I'm going to grab my subcontract here. And I'm going to add this and click send on this. Now if I go down here and I use the exact same email, nothing changes, now it's going to say here's your subcontract and here's a link to that form. So it's important to understand that you're going to have one email that you can use with different forms if you want to. It's only going to look at what form you selected first and then autofill it into that area there. So you won't pick the form that you want to send when you're writing the email, it's when you go into Dubsado and you choose the form first same thing with workflows, you're going to pick the form you want to send first and then it's going to autofill whatever form you've selected in that brackets area or the type of form that you're using, it's going to autofill it in that area there. So that's how the links are going to work. Same thing with a contract. If I were to go here and I click send on there, the contract link is going to be what autofills there. So I could switch the contract and use a completely different one, but use the same email with the contract link, and it's gonna autofill that specific contract. So it can recognize which one you're picking and autofill it in that spot. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. One thing that I kind of just created on the fly here, but it kind of will help you to understand how to send forms in Dubsado, just go ahead and memorize this phrase. 
form first to fill the field. So you have to always pick the form first to fill that specific field. That's how it works in Dubsado. Here's also another great tip for you guys who are taking notes down. The form link that I had in that email, there are three types of forms that go with that form link. Questionnaires, proposals, and sub-agreements or subcontracts. Those are the three things that go with form link. The contracts will use their own specific link. They have a contract link because you can only have one contract per project. It has its own specific link. It's kind of its own separate entity. So the forms, anytime you're using form link, it needs to either be a questionnaire, a proposal, or a sub-agreement. That's how it works in there. So go ahead and jot that down just so that you're using the form link the right way. Um, and so that's how the form links work.